Hello, Dolphin users. Today, we are going to introduce you one new method to refurbish the Toshiba hard drives. Before this video, two methods have been introduced. That is to reset smart and then erase the hard drive. The second method we have been introducing to you, that is the scan the bad sectors and save bad sectors in one file and then import that file to the playlist and then write the new playlist. So today we are going to introduce to you the third method that is to cut bones and or cut head. This method is usually used when the previous two methods doesn't work. Now let's try to end the program and find out how to use this method, cut zone or cut head. Let's open the Toshiba firmware repair module, power on the hard drive. Before we do all operations on the hard drive, we can try to back up the firmware modules and back up the ROM. In case if there is any mistakes we have during the process, we can get the drive back to the original status. Okay, now suppose we have back up all the firmware modules and ROM. We start to refurbish this hard drive by the third method, cut head or cut zone. The first thing we need to do is to scan the hard drive and find out the bad sector locations. We can jump, we can skip some LBA because I have learned that in the front part of this hard drive there are low bad sectors. So I can scan from uh, the latter part of the hard drive and see if we can find out some bad sectors. So here's one bad sector. So some green bad sectors here. So we are going to remove these bad sectors. So after we have found out these bad sectors, we can write down the LBA value of these bad sectors. Because later we need to compare if these bad sectors are located on the same head or not. Okay, more bad sectors we have found. Okay, here are red bad sector. So usually how users can cut zones. So users can write the LBA of the first LBA, I mean the first bad sector. And then users can write down the LBA value of the last bad sector. And then users can cut this zone. Okay, suppose we have finished the scan. When users are trying to refurbish the hard drive, users need to wait until the scan completes. Now I want to save your time, so I don't need to scan the whole hard drive. I click Stop. Okay, now let's enter the program. Because we are going to use the cup head or cup zone, so we need to check the head status. Here is one function within the firmware operations that is called head read and write test. We can tick all heads and click OK to test the head house information. So from the current test, we can find out the head 0, head 1, head 2, and 3, they are OK. They don't have problems. So usually from this kind of diagnosis, we don't need to cut head for this hard drive. So we can use the previous two methods to refurbish this hard drive. Now we can check how to cut the zone and cut head. Here is one menu called Heads, uh, Depot, and Cut Zone. We can use the data mode. Now all the zones of the hard drive have been nested. 
So when we find that path sectors on this zone, then we can start cut this zone. Start to cut zone. Or if we find path sectors on multiple zones, for example, this zone, this zone. Okay, these four zones. So we can stick, we can right click to cut zone, start cut zone. So it will cut these four zones we have selected. How about if we want to cut head? So for example, if we want to cut head zero, here is head, head number. We want to cut head zero, then we can select all those on the same head. So after we select this menu, then we can cut head zero. We can right click and then start cut zone. So this operation will cut all those of the head zero. That means we cut head zero. That is very easy for cut head or cut zone. After zone or head cut, users can exit the program and go to the path sector scan. Users can also try to zero fill the hard drive and then power off and power on. Usually, the hard drive is refurbished. Sometimes users also can reset the smart before cut head or cut zone. This is one also good suggestions to Dolphin users. Thank you for watching this video. Dolphin Sporting.